Welcome to another video on my roller track made of Fisher Technique. Um, controlled by a beagle board which is right here. Um, connected to um, a Fisher Technique uh, robo interface to which all the motors and sensors are connected. Last time I was uh, having uh, problems with uh, the chain right here, but um, last problem, and I finished with that, um, is with this track changing um, situation. Um, it is, it doesn't change anymore. Something is wrong with the gears. Something is wrong with sensors. So that's the focus for now. Let me see how I can solve that. So now the question is how to solve this part and with different camera it is located here. So um, with this perspective you don't quite see the problem which is here. Um, let me run it. So it down. Um, I have to use uh, one of the motors, obviously, and then make sure that everything is in place. The motor is coming from here, which is motor 2. So, open interface. And then motor 2. And what is going on? Okay, so it does run. Why does it run now and didn't it run last time? Also, now, and I have to bend um, the LEDs a little bit make them visible on screen or on camera. This one is burning now. I hope it's visible. There's another one right here which is not visible or not burning anyway. And this one only does something now. So with this view you can see that it is not quite aligned. So this one goes straight to this chain. This one ends up right here. And with this warm gear um, it should be shifted. So once again It runs and it transports back, which is good. So now for all uh, safety I close the interface because the software should be able to distinguish it. So let's run the software. Not this one, this one. Go, no, go. And then everything runs as you can see. But now the question is okay, that's not good. And you can clearly see whatever happens. So they jump track. Which is not good, but I need everything to run, and now I have to shift this a bit to make everything clearly visible. I press the switch, and this is hanging here. And 
this is not done wood. Yep, another one. I have to stop the software. Because why is this not doing what I like, what I want? Why does it work with the diagnostics but not with the software? That's the problem. Okay, once again. Open interface. Motor 2. Yeah, that works. Oh, shifting it down a bit. Once again, that works and that works. And now you can also see input 3. It's activated. Input 2 activated. So why does it work with the diagnostics but not with the software? Good question. And of course the solution is very simple. I have to press this sensor to get this moving uh, by software. So here goes. I removed all balls by the way. Unable, yeah, of course, because I have to close this interface first. Now I can do it. And press. And yes, it goes. And it stops. And now it is perfectly aligned right here. And there's no ball going, that's good. Um, so I press it again. Where does it go? It stops, but not on the right place. So I have to move this particular part a little bit further here. So I press the switch, a little bit, okay, this doesn't work, so, now it should align nicely, yes, press again for some time. What does it do now? And yes, it stops. All right. So that is good. Now it aligns nicely again. The only problem I have now is this part. Because when I have this, it blocks a part of this track, which is not good. So let me take a bullet and do it in drive room or not. There comes, goes, oh, no problem there. Switch tracks. Yes, that's good. Take another bullet. Go from top. And that goes nicely. Very good. So it seems to work after all. The only thing um, that is not quite as good is the following. When I press um, this switch, sensor, whatever you call it, um, it stops this chain, but um, it will never prevent any bullet or any marble 
um, from rolling down the tracks and then when the change is halfway yeah which one does it choose so that's one downside and the only downside as far as I can tell unless I make it stop somewhere somehow but stopping um, is annihilating the kinetic energy that it does have so it won't have the full speed and in this curve uh, it already uh, loses kinetic energy so is it wise? I'm not quite sure but let's run it anyway and then it would be nice if all chains are working oh yeah right um, once again a wire out wait for the first marble or bullet to come down there it goes to one pressing goes to the second now the other one is selected Yeah, it misses some magnets here and there, but I don't have more magnets. And now this one is transported by the uh, um, inverted conveyor belts, which run uh, at quite a high speed. but are not picked up every time even so that it that they are lifted so that is not a very good point after all okay once more change of track and here the ball is not lost properly there it goes again there it goes ok, nice change of track and I really have to hold it for quite a while and now you see what happens it has to choose a track while it's halfway And you see the problem right there. The magnets are missing out on the bullets. Because of the construction. So I have to change this somehow. Probably by reconstructing this uh, red part, which I reconstructed, to make it um, just like this in a vertical edge. And not with a slope should be possible because this is clearly not working and by fixing uh, this part and uh, finding that that part has to be reconstructed once again and of course I am talking about that part right there I say thank you for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel to give the video a thumbs up. Leave a comment or suggestion. Um, really appreciate that. You can also follow me via Instagram and Twitter.
Please show your support by um, becoming a patron or donating via either PayPal or IBAN. Uh, please visit my website. Um, this is obviously going to be continued. So have a nice day. Take care. Bye.